Here's a question I asked myself as my husband and I were dealing with a tough situation together. Is it prideful to believe that you are at fault for everything that goes bad in your life? In the same way it is prideful to believe that whatever good things happen in your life are solely the results of your actions? Yes, and I hadn't realized it, but I believe it is. I've been in a very intense season of correction with God and Him exposing me to me, things that I've done wrong recently and over the years. But in his correction, I fell into a place of believing that if I do everything right, if I change all the bad things about me, then nothing bad will happen to me. But God was dealing with this flawed mindset as well. The temptation to take the seemingly humble response of assuming responsibility for all that goes wrong is also to believe that you are in full control. There's this doctrine that is very popular amongst Pentecostal churches, and that is because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, that when he does, it is likely the result of some decision you've made, something you've done wrong. You sinned. You didn't pray enough. You didn't fast enough. You missed church on Sunday. You didn't serve in church. You didn't deal with all the generational demons. You didn't get up at 4 a.m. for prayer. You spent too much time on Instagram. You were listening to secular music when you should have been listening to worship music. Sometimes it's true. Bad things often happen to us as a result of our poor decisions, spiritual laziness, lukewarmness, or disobedience. But sometimes you can fast for 30 days, pray for eight hours, go to church three days a week, serve in church, preach the gospel unapologetically, and live a holy life, and still face trials and tribulations. Life can feel like it's going terribly wrong and that you've done something that doesn't please God and your current circumstances are punishment even when you've done nothing wrong. The truth is, some trials are not because you've done something wrong, but because you desire to live right. The Bible says God chastens those he loves. So even if you are living in the consequences of a poor decision, just know that the consequences that you're experiencing are to make you better, not to destroy you. The Bible is clear, through many trials and tribulations, we will enter into the kingdom. The Bible also says that all who desire to live a holy life will experience persecution. I am a firm believer in being zealous for the Lord, walking in holiness, and not being spiritually lazy. Fast often, pray without ceasing, study your word every day. And as you do those things, know that we are at war even in times of peace. The reality is that bad things happen and no, it's not that bad things happen to good people, but bad things happen to people. Many of the things that you experience, both bad and good, have nothing to do with the decision that you've made. The Bible says that it rains on the just and the unjust. In God's plan, not just for your life, but for his glory, the bad things are working out for your good.